Once again, we want to thank everyone for coming out today, and we apologize for the delay. We are really looking forward to bringing you this exciting event here to Barclays for the fans, and they will not be disappointed. This card is stacked from top to bottom, and we have some outstanding talent that will be coming to you on January the 14th. This event is promoted by Mayweather Promotions and Debella Entertainment, and it will take place on January the 14th, live on Showtime at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and 6.30 p.m. Pacific from right here at Barclays. Our event is sponsored by Corona, and tickets are on sale now, and they start as low as $25. In the co-main event, we have the IBF championship title fight and it will have the undefeated Puerto Rican sensation, who's a great, great fighter, Jose Sniper Pradaza, and he'll be defending his title against Mayweather Promotions up and coming young fighter, Javante Davis. In our main event, which will be headlined by Mayweather Promotions' own WBC super middleweight champion, Badu Jack, who will be fighting an outstanding champion in IBF super middleweight champion, none other than James Chunky DeGale. <laughs> in addition to the numerous talents we have up here on the stage, I also want to acknowledge some very exciting up and coming talent and former fighters here from the New York area. Um, in attendance, Danny Jacobs, the WBA middleweight world champion, Heather Hardy, the undefeated WBC super bantamweight and featherweight champion, Mark Breland, who's one of my all-time favorite fighters, uh, former Olympic gold medalist from the 1984 team, five-time New York Golden Gloves title holder. Junior Jones, former WBA Bantam and Super Bantamweight title holder. Uh, Richardson Hitchison, 2016 Olympian, represented from Haiti. Uh, another great former champion, Iran Barkley in attendance, who fought in a number of wars. Also, Shamil Pagan, uh, five-time Golden Gloves champion. Nisa Rodriguez, uh, five-time New York Golden Glove titles. Earl Newman Jr., uh, won the 201-pound open title um, here in New York, Golden Gloves champion this year. Also in attendance is our newly signed uh, prodigy, amateur standout, Kenny Robles, who's here with his manager, Elvis Grant. Next up, I would like to bring up the former 12-time world champion, five different weight classes, my partner, none other than the president of Mayweather Promotions, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Um, we back. Um, what other, what other better city than to be in than New York City? Um, it, it, it was always one of my dreams and one of my goals was to fight in New York City. Even though it didn't happen, I'm able to be in a position to put, to put other fighters in positions to, to go out there and entertain and get you guys what you want to see. It's, about, it's all about blood, sweat, and tears. For years and years, these fighters have worked so hard and dedicated their lives to get to this point. I want to thank the media. I want to thank everyone that showed up. Mayweather Promotions, really appreciate you guys. We thank you guys for supporting us. We want to thank you guys for supporting our movement. Lou DiBella, I mean, I mean, such a great person, such a great guy, a gentleman. James DeGale, one hell of a fighter. Badu Jack, I'm so proud of you. Javante Davis, another fighter on the rise just under the Mayweather Promotions banner. Only thing we're going to do is continue to build these fighters and help these fighters um, get to the highest heights. Uh, Steven Espinosa, there's so many different people, you know, I, I mean, that, that I want to touch on that helped me get to this point to, that I'm able to give back to these young fighters. Brett, you know, thank you. I want to thank the Barclays Center. I want to thank the whole, you know, New York City 
especially Brooklyn. We want to continue to do fights in this arena. We want to continue to bring championship boxing to New York City. I know, of course, that, you know, um, with 49 fights, most of my fights was in Las Vegas, Nevada, but we're here in Brooklyn, and we want to give you guys nothing but a great show. Um, another young champion right here, Jose Pedroza, we want to say thank you for the opportunity that you're giving my young fighter. Um, what else can I touch on? What other subject can I touch on? There's so many, you know, young fighters on the rise. And hopefully we can just be a part of their career to help them get to, the, to, get to that next level. Um, it wasn't an easy road for myself. It wasn't an easy road for Leonard Ellaby. But I want to thank everyone. I want to thank my staff. I want to thank my team. And I want to thank the media for covering, for covering this press conference today. Um, I'll see you guys in a couple months. Thank you. Next up, um, I'd like to introduce my partner. Um, he's our co-promoter, very dear friend. Um, he puts on outstanding events, and this is our first time working with him and his staff, and we're really looking forward to January the 14th. None other than Lou DiBella. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Leonard. Um, Leonard and Ford really are old friends, and it's uh, a pleasure to work with uh, their company. Um, this is the first time we've worked together, and, and they got a terrific staff um, working for them. Their people are, are really competent, high quality, in it, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to this promotion. And I'm very grateful to Floyd and to, and to Leonard, because um, I said this earlier in, in, you know, when I was talking about the insurance issue. Um, but they didn't have to come into Brooklyn right now and New York right now when we're going through all this sort of confusion with the insurance laws in New York. But I believe Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather when he said he got into this promoting game to be pro fighter and to give opportunity to young fighters, the kind of opportunity that took him from nothing to one of the wealthiest athletes and most successful athletes in the world and in the history of boxing. So thank you, thank both of you. And um, doing this event, the same way doing this event shows the commitment from Barclay Center and Brett Yormark and his staff to boxing in New York, the same way it shows Steven Espinoza's commitment and the commitment of Showtime to boxing in New York and to New York fighters. It shows the commitment of Floyd Mayweather, Leonard Elvey, and Mayweather Promotions to what's good for all fighters, even fighters that aren't in their home state. So um, my, my gratitude to, to Floyd and to Leonard. And um, we're bringing you an unbelievable card on January 14th. It doesn't get much better than this. There is no better fight um, in this weight class than, uh, than the man to my right. Um, and, and, uh, and Badu, uh, I promoted Badu early in his career. Um, and um, I always knew he was a terrific fighter. He started hanging out at the Mayweather gym. He wanted to, to work with Floyd, so we worked something out. And, um, and Mayweather Promotions did a great job getting him to where he is right now. Um, but as the case with every fighter, he did a great job of getting himself to where he is right now, which is a position as really one of the elite fighters in the world. And on the 14th of January, he's going to be fighting one of the elite fighters in the world, in James Chunky DeGill. So it doesn't get better than that. And the first fight, I'm proud that my champion from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico's only male champion, and I'm lucky enough to promote Puerto Rico's only male champion, Jose Pedraza, and Puerto Rico's only female champion, Amanda Serrano, who's in this room right now. And, um, and Jose is, gonna, is taking it on as big a challenge as you could take on in a, a young, hungry, boisterous, cocky, confident kid in, in Gervonta Davis. So that, that opening fight um, figures to be a sensational fight. I want to bring you the man who's responsible for making those two fights, the man who runs Showtime Sports and put this card together. Um, Steven Espinosa. Uh, before I get to my uh, remarks, and I know you've been waiting a long time, so I'll keep it brief, uh, I have a bit of housekeeping to do. Uh, I've had some hardware sitting in my office for quite some time, um, and it doesn't belong to me. Uh, it's actually Floyd's. So Floyd, if you would uh, come up. Uh, I've been meaning to give this to you for 
don't know, about six months. Uh, it's the 2015 Sports Emmy for Outstanding Documentary Series for All Access Mayweather versus Birdo. How many? Yeah, that's it. How many Emmys now? Oh, this, I believe, this is, this is four Emmys with us. I think you might have had one or two at another with network. The other side. With the other network. But I think this is four with Showtime, so. Uh, You'll have to make some room on the trophy case. I know it's pretty full as it is. Thank you. Okay. As all of you know, Showtime is a premium TV network. Uh, premium TV means our programming is, is special. It's unique. It's high quality. You don't just get it anywhere. Uh, and that's what this card is. It's unique, high quality special. You don't see it every day. Um, as, a, as an aside, these four fighters have made a combined 14 appearances on Showtime. That's from Showbox to Showtime Extreme to Championship Boxing to even pay-per-view. So these are four fighters that we feel very attached to and very proud of. Uh, but to create and deliver special events, it takes commitment. And when you're committed to something, whether it's a cause, an idea, a goal, special things happen. Uh, almost four years ago, Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions and, and Leonard Ellerbee made a commitment to Showtime. Uh, together we did some very special things. We broke records, we broke the records that we set before, we made history, it's no exaggeration to say that we did things that no one thought would ever be done. And now May the Word Promotions is bringing us this special event. Also, almost about four years ago, Brett Yormark and Barclays Center made a commitment to the sport of boxing. And in those four years, Barclays Center has become one of the most, uh, the busiest venues for boxing in the entire world, um, possibly the busiest. And in Brett, I would categorize as probably the number one, uh, well, I'll say number two fan, and I'll explain that in a minute, the number two most passionate advocate for boxing uh, in New York City. Um, and Brett, we thank you for that commitment because that commitment to the sport of boxing has led us here today. Uh, Lou DiBella, that's the number one most passionate advocate fan of boxing in New York City. So those of you, those of you who know him uh, know that that passion is a word uh, that it fits to a T. There's really, I think that's the word. And uh, we have to acknowledge the, the critical role that Lou has played in bringing this event and quite honestly in elevating the sport of boxing in New York City for virtually his entire career. Uh, but most importantly, these boxers, the four young men on the stage today, these are some of the most talented and accomplished athletes in the sport. Um, and they didn't get here without commitment. Uh, this is the best this sport has to offer. They're committed to excellence in their own careers. They're committed to taking on other accomplished athletes. We can't do special events without fighters who are willing to take on tough fights. And we have four of those fighters here on the televised portion and a whole card full of those fighters on the night of the event. And we have to salute all of those fighters. Uh, no network is committed and as passionate as boxing as Showtime is. More fights, more platforms, more resources, more exposure to the sport than any other network. More importantly, the biggest, the biggest and the best fights are on Showtime. It's not a question anymore. No other network is televising fights like these, top five versus top five, champion versus champion, week after week, month after month. There's no better way for us to kick off another year of Showtime boxing with this great card here at the Barclays Center. We'll see you on January 14th. How y'all doing today? Thanks for having me. First off, I want to I want to thank God. You know, without Him, nothing would be possible. Um, second, I want to thank my promoter. You know, um, Leonard Allaby, Floyd Mayweather. Third, I want to thank my team. You know, my hometown. You know, for backing me. You know, all these years. Thank you, uh, Joseph Pedraza, his team, his promoter. January 14th, I get my shot. 22, 16-0, 15 knockouts. It's amazing. 
you know, um, I know Joseph Pedraza is a great fighter. You know, um, I'm a great fighter. People are going to say he had more more experience. You know, but um, coming from my amateur background, you know, um, 206 wins, 15 knockout. I mean, 15 losses. You know, um, over 20 belts. You know, I won a lot of nationals. Um, it's nothing Pedraza can bring to the ring that I didn't see before. I've been battle tested, you know, in the ring, outside the ring, you know. Um, in January the 14th, I'm definitely coming home without that, with that belt. You know, uh, he gonna have to kill me. Or oh, Amulet's gonna have to pick me up. Some, something gotta happen, because I'll definitely be coming home with that belt. No other way. See y'all uh, January the 14th. There's uh, no doubt that Trevante Davis is a terrific young fighter. And when you have 15 knockouts and 16 wins, obviously you can punch. So the man presents danger. But on Team Pedraza, we're, we're confident because we have a great champion. Um, Jose's 22-0 with 12 KOs. The IBF Junior Lightweight World Champion. He was a 2008 Olympian representing Puerto Rico. He's now Puerto Rico's only reigning male world champion. Made two successful defenses of his belt so far with victories over Edna Cherry and Stephen Smith. And this will be his third uh, defense of his title. Um, from Cedro, Puerto Rico, Jose the Sniper Pedraza. Buenas tardes a toda mi gente de Nueva York. Eh, muy agradecido de estar, de estar aquí presente. Muchas gracias a Ludivela. Me voy a dar promoción. Thank you to everybody here, my people from New York. Thank you to Ludivela, and thanks for me with the promotions. Eh, primero que nada, tengo que decir que lamento mucho que David esté bajo la tutela de, de Mayweather, porque el día 14 de, de enero, cuando le quiten el invisto a David, es como ganar la Mayweather. Así que lamento mucho, lamento mucho que esté bajo la tutela de, 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 de Mayweather. He says uh, he would like to say that he's sorry for Davis being signed uh, to Mayweather promotion because on January 14th, when he takes away his undefeated record, it's going to feel like he beat Mayweather. Eh, y si él dice que, que hay que matarlo para ganarle, muerto estará. If he says that he has to be killed in order to beat him, then he's going to be dead. <laughs> um, y... Me uno, me uno para salvar la, a Nueva York para combatir la legislatura. Así que muchas gracias por esta gran oportunidad. Dios me los bendiga y nos vemos el 14 de enero. I would like to say that I'm also very privileged to, to help with this cause, uh, with the insurance deal with New York City. And I, I'm going to show that, you know, I'm very happy to be here and I'm going to be proud to represent my people. Thank you. This fight's already on. Um, this is not the uh, first time I've gotten to work with uh, James Chunky DeGale. Um, I was uh, honored to be able to promote his, his fight with um, Andre Durrell and to work with Team Chunky. They're, they're good people. Um, James DeGale is no accident. Uh, two, 2008 Olympic gold medalist for England. The IBF super middleweight world champion defeated Andre Durrell uh, in his U.S. debut in what was a terrific fight um, in a well-earned unanimous decision. He's made two defenses of his IBF belt. Um, he beat Lucien Butte he, he, in Canada, and he beat Porky Medina, but we're not gonna talk about that one. Um, he turned pro in 2009, is riding a 13-fight winning streak, and um, held every, pretty much every belt you could hold in the UK. Um, former WBA International, BC Silver, 
you, whatever you have, Commonwealth champion, UK champion, all that kind of stuff, whatever. But now he's a world champion. He's got to take on another world champion. Um, this, is a, this is a fight as a fan I want to see. So it's my pleasure to bring up um, James Chunky DeGale. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I start, can I just uh, thank my advisor, Al Heyman, Lou DeBella, TBE, Money Me. Uh, who else have I got to thank? Who else? Oh, Show, Showtime and Sky Sports. Uh, listen, this is, well, it's here. It's here, the big one. Me against Badu Jack, the best fight in the best. Number one against number two. The champ versus the champ. This is crazy, it's on. New York's in for a treat, I swear to God. Uh, listen, all jokes aside, Badu Jack is a very, very good fighter, tough fighter. He don't do nothing spectacular, but he's, he's complete. He's complete, a good jab, good defense, works the body well. But I've just got that X factor. You know the X factor? Trust me. I've lost before, I'm not gonna lose again. This is, I've come too far in my life, too far I've come too far in my life to lose this opportunity. January the 14th, you let in for a treat. New York, we're going in. Team Chunky, watch it. Before I bring up our world champion, I would like to, I would like to acknowledge Jill Diamond, who's here representing the WBC. Thank you, Jill, for coming out. Bottle Jack, can't say enough on how myself and Floyd and our whole team are very proud of this young man. Um, he had a minor setback a few years ago. We told him and promised him, keep your head up and the best is yet to come. Three years later, here he is fighting in New York City, headlining a Showtime card in the biggest fight, the unification fight for all the marbles. This is what it's all about. He's the definition of what a true champion is all about. You know, I can recall when we first signed him, thanks to our friend here, Lou DeBella, um, we talked, had some very extensive- And that wasn't one of my better moves. <laughs> We had some very extensive talks, and we had a game plan. And in boxing, you have to have a game plan. You can't listen to the naysayers and all those things. You have to stay focused, and that's what he's been able to do. You know, um, I can't say enough on the progress that he's made. You know, um, sometimes what happens is that when people become world champion, they become better. And it starts with the confidence. And with him being around Floyd and Floyd working with different things on him, you know, he's sat there and picked Floyd's brain because at this level, a lot of it's mental. The physical part is great, but it's the mental preparation on knowing how to be a winner and, and staying a winner. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give a big round of applause to the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, none other than Badu, Jack the Ripper. I want to thank God. I want to thank Floyd Mayweather, of course, Lou DeBella, Team DeGale, Showtime, and my trainer, Lou DeVal, the loud guy over there. He's the main reason for my improvement the last two years. And um, January 14th, going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, I've been begging Leonard the whole summer to get this fight made, and finally, Leonard. Leonard and Floyd, <laughs> it is finally, finally here, and I'm excited. He's a he's a he's a real deal. He's a road warrior. He come to America to fight the best. You know, I proved that I'm the best too. So the two of the best are fighting each other, and it's going to be a hell of a fight. But it's all, but I'm the number one. And <laughs> now I respect James DeGale. 
all jokes aside, we can joke. There's no hard feelings and there's no disrespect. But come fight night, it's business. And we got, in the middle of the promotion, we got a little gift for, for James DeGale because, oh, hold on. Let me see my gift. Let me see my gift. Money, mate, let me see it. I, I don't know what the What's that? What's that? David DeGale. Oh, I like that, man. Let me put that on now. David DeGale. Let's go. Oh, David DeGale. <laughs> David DeGale, bro. David DeGale. Show it to the camera. Come on, look. David DeGale. Turn it, turn it. Diva, Diva. David DeGale. I like that, bro. Maybe about TV, we do it, you know. We do this. See you January 14th. Let me stick it out. Wait, the king. It's all wrong. You should have got me a crown. That's what you should have got me. You should have got me a crown. <laughs> you do this, bro. You could never try and abandon me because I go in like this. Never try and abandon me. I love this. Good shit. <laughs> <laughs> like to thank you to all the fighters here on the stage. We're really, really excited and looking forward to fight night on January the 14th. And I'd like to thank all who have joined us today. We will be back here at the Barclays, and we are really, really excited. We have a tremendous card. Um, like for the fighters to come up to pose for photos. Come on.